Jiva Fertility Centers is running free fertility camps at all our centers in Banjara Hills, Sanatnagar, Kompalli and Manikonda on all Saturdays this coming month of July. Please come down, evaluate yourself, understand your infertility and your chances of fertility with the treatment options available. There are heavy discounts given on IVF procedures. Thank you. Hi, I am Dr. Suachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. When we ask a husband to give a, an ejaculate for assessing their sperms in the semen, there is a lot of confusion. Many do not know or are not aware that they have to give an ejaculate for us to be able to do a seminal examination. Now, what's critical is the abstinence period, about three days or below five days. That means that the last ejaculate uh, should have a gap of three days and it should not cross five to seven days. That's because if the gap is too low, then the volume and the count of sperms could be low. If the gap is too long, the motility could be low. So because of that, World Health Organization has given us this window to ask for an ejaculate. Now, how is an ejaculate given? Well, sometimes we see that when we ask for an ejaculate, men give us a urine sample, not knowing that uh, it's a semen that we require. So basically, you need to masturbate to be able to give us that. You should not use uh, soap or water because sperms uh, are damaged due to the exposure to these. We basically send you to a secluded room, it's called the semen collection room, where you have your privacy and then after half an hour of receiving the ejaculate, the semen uh, analysis is started. Now, sometimes men ask us if they can get the sample from home. Yes, you can definitely get it from home, but remember, once you ejaculate, the time to bring it to the uh, center should be not more than 30 minutes because that's basically when the uh, semen liquefies. We have to do it in that stage only, the semen analysis. So, if you take too long a time, the motility might come down. The count doesn't matter, it will remain the same, but the motility of the sperms might come down and we might give you a compromised report. So, yes, you can get it from home, but definitely make sure that you reach the center within half an hour. The container that you give the semen is also very critical. We use non-toxic semen collection containers and these are previously tested by companies for survival of sperm. So therefore, don't use your own container, don't use glass jars. These are things patients have already done. That's why I wanted to create this awareness. Don't use your own jars. Use only the jars that we provide at the center because these are non-toxic to the sperms. If you want to get a semen analysis done or you want to get it repeated, you want a second opinion, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.